Okay, so as you can see here, scene of a, well, somewhat industrial accident. And uh, I really don't have time to write the report for this, so thankfully I have my phone. So I'll just uh, start with the investigation and um, record some of it with my phone. And you'll see how you really can stop writing reports or the time you spend writing these reports is significantly reduced. Let's have a look. Here we have the ladder on the ground with uh, tools beside it. Uh, it appears that the ladder has fallen as well as the tools. Uh, when I talked to the worker, he was carrying the tools and everything up the ladder. After standing the ladder up, I quickly noticed that um, it does not reach, uh, barely reaches the eaves trough. Future Kevin here. In editing, I made a mistake and I deleted a file. I had actually said, okay, let's wrap this up and let's go down into the office. So now that we're in the office, let's continue on. Hey, so here we are back in the office. What I did is I hooked up my phone and uh, downloaded the files to the videos I shot and a couple of pictures and threw them into a folder that I've just labeled investigation one. And I'll show you a, a screenshot of the folder later, just see if you wanna know how to set things up yourself, by all means. Anyway, what I've done is I've logged into Site Report Builder. Now, full disclosure here, yes, I do get a commission from any uh, subscription to the software. However, there is no burden put upon you I will have an offer for you at the end of the video, so stay tuned, and it's quite a sizable one, by all means, so stay tuned. Now, the idea here is, is that this report will use AI to generate uh, a safety-related report to you. So what I've done is I've logged in, and I'm just gonna choose safety as a report. And uh, then I have some preliminary things I have to do. So I shot that, uh, video this morning at, I'm going to say roughly 9.30, okay? I'm just going to choose 9.30. And, of course, AM. August 5th, there we go. General info. Okay, so the next step I want to do is just give the report a name or a number. And you can just do, like, one, two, three, or you can put uh, investigation um, repair call. Okay, background. Uh, well, let's say I was called to investigate, and I this has been pre-filled out. So I did do a practice or two just to make sure the video would be good for you. So call to investigate a worker falling from a ladder and, and a ladder mishap. So now the next step is observations. Traditionally, this is where you're going to have notes that you're going to type out. You're going to have to have um, additional things like maybe tables or whatever the case may be. This is where some of the magic starts to happen. So it says upload files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my file folder that I put my photos and my videos in, and I'm just gonna select the videos I want. I'm gonna start with videos, and I'm gonna drop them off. It does take a bit of time to upload the videos, and your mileage is gonna vary depending on uh, your internet connection. It doesn't really take very long. I've got a fairly high-speed connection, but I'm doing everything over wireless at the moment, so it is a bit time-consuming. You may have to grab a coffee, I'm not sure. But while it's uploading, I want to talk about some of the benefits you have here. And actually, I'm almost done. So the benefits are going to have to wait. Stay tuned. So take the next step. And uh, at the bottom, you'll see it's uh, actually labeled for you. I'll just uh, shrink the wind window a bit so you can see. It's actually labeled Generate Report. So... I'll click Generate Report, and it's analyzing it right now with the AI. And it doesn't take very long. It's actually very, very quick. Uh, 
But once again, maybe while I'm waiting, I can talk about some of the things. There is a pricing to it, but darn. Okay, it's that quick. So what I'm going to do is I trust me, I will talk about pricing and I will talk about the deal you have at towards the end of the video. So stick around. I should note at this point, the AI has analyzed both the video and the narration to create the report. Now, if I want to, if I've got an ongoing project, say this is a construction project and I'm, I'm looking after three or four different construction projects, I can just put the project in there and I can just, and I can change this if you want from safety report to incident investigation report. If I had a project, I can add it to a project automatically, and I'll show you about those towards the end, end here as well. So the report number is investigation, repair, call, whatever. If you have a predetermined numbering system, you can always add it in there. And I can edit the time if I, this is the date and time of the report. I'm not sure why it says in there, but let's, let's just put 0930 AM. Called to investigate a worker fallen from a ladder, ladder mishap. It might have taken some timestamps from a video. I'm not sure why it did that. But anyway, so leads into a bit of an introduction. During a brief phone interview with the worker, two significant issues were identified. The worker expressed reluctance to spend time on the photo call. You know, I think this better is better towards the end. And these photos maybe towards the end as well. These ones should be up at the front. So what I can do is I can take and I can just go like this and put it up here, just like that. So here we are in the observations and ladder on tools fell during the climb. A ladder was observed on the ground with tools scattered beside it. It suggested both had fallen. The worker reported carrying tools while ascending the ladder when the incident occurred. Here we have the ladder on the ground with uh, tools beside it. Uh, it appears that the ladder has fallen as well as the tools. Uh, when I talked to the worker, he was carrying the tools and everything up the ladder. Um, as you saw in the beginning of the video, like when I started this bit, um, really and truthfully, that's not what I said, but the AI took and it wrote uh, a much better caption for the photo than what I said. Now, I could change it to exactly what I wanted. I can edit it. I can add more text. Or I can take away text by simply backspacing. That's the beauty of this is the AI, AI will take and I and add a good caption for me. Now, I also had, um, I did a quick phone interview with the worker. During a brief phone interview with the worker, two significant issues were identified. The worker expressed reluctance to spend too much time on the call. And maybe I better change that. I may want to add repair call. Because it sort of sounds, it has the connotation that he's climbing the ladder while he's on the phone. It was noted the ladder was not fully extended. The worker was carrying tools and a tool belt over the shoulder instead of wearing it properly. These factors contributed to the fall. Remedial instruction is recommended to ensure proper tool belt usage and correct ladder setup. What I did is I also set up the ladder and I took a short video um, and it just also captured that as well. The ladder is set up with appropriate four to one ratio, but insufficient contact was observed on the eaves trough after tools were cleaned up, the ladder was repositioned. Kind of what I said, but maybe what I want to do is just change it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that. And then I'm going to put that at the beginning. So if you can type, after the tools were cleaned up and then comma, the ladder was positioned um, against the eaves trough and uh, you can just put the image shows The ladder was set up with appropriate 4 to 1 ratio, but insufficient contact was observed with the eavesdrop. Perfect. 
Uh, the worker admitted to being in a hurry, acknowledged that he should have extended the ladder, but claimed he did not have time to do so. Once again, the AI helped with my notation. So the AI then does a quick conclusion, and this is what the conclusion says. I'll just read it in case the text is too small on your phone when you're looking at it. Uh, the investigation into the ladder mishap reveals several critical safety lapses that contributed to the worker's fall. The primary issues identified include uh, one, improper ladder setup. The ladder was not fully extended, compromising its stability. Two, incorrect tool handling. The worker carried tools in a shoulder slung tool belt instead of wearing it properly. Three, time pressure. The worker admitted to rushing, which led to cutting corners on safety procedures to prevent further incidents in the future. The following actions are recommended. Now, uh, one is to conduct remedial safety training, focusing on proper ladder setup and extension techniques, reinforce the importance of correct tool usage and safe tool carrying practices while climbing, emphasize the priority over, of safety over speed, encouraging workers to take uh, necessary time for proper equipment setup. Implementing these measures should significantly reduce the risk of similar accidents and improve overall worker safety. So a couple of things. I don't like this uh, formatting, so I'm just going to change it a bit. And I'm just going to just add this instead because uh, it just looks a bit better with the numbered list. And then uh, add this, this. To me, it just looks better. And there we go, three. And then um, and then the final sentence right here. There we go. So it looks uh, like a better formatted report. And I'm just going to put that it was written by me. And I'm just an uh, investigator. And if I want, I suppose I can add CRSP, CRM beside it. If you want to sign it, you can. I'm not going to bother. It's fairly simple. You can just do it there with your mouse if you want. If you have a tablet with a pen, this is also uh, mobile um, friendly. And you can use your finger if you're on a phone, etc. It does work as well. When I'm all done, I can export it and I can choose. I prefer PDF and then I can just download it. And it'll take a, a bit for the system to uh, create the PDF and then, of course, uh, download it. Yeah, it doesn't take very long. And there we go. I'm done. I'll include an uh, animated screenshot uh, showing the PDF. It looks just like this. And uh, if I wanted, it would have copied my signature, but that's OK. And now, so a couple of things. See, I know you're likely asking about pricing. Well, just wait just a second. If I want, I can add a header to my report with a stylized log logo. I'll uh, drop my um, provoking safety logo here and uh, see how that looks. And I'll just shrink it a bit so it looks a bit better and even it out. And there we go. And if I want, I can go provoking safety. Um, now, if ever you're running into issues or you notice that there's, uh, and I'll, of course, save the header at the end. Uh, and this header will, tra you can also, it'll be included if you want in your PDF when you export it. It's totally up to you. I'll export a new one right now because I forgot to. So I'll just do a new one. If at any time you want to chat with the uh, developers or the um, those that are in charge of the whole entire organization, you can right here. They do commit to getting back to you within one to two hours. Now, I suppose you're likely going to want to know um, about other things like pricing. There is some other options to it before I get into pricing. If I want to add notes to the report, I can. They can be for me or they can be part of the report. I can also, I'll just get rid of this for a second, ask AI. And I can ask a question about AI and um, I really don't, I'm not sure what to ask, but um, 
Uh, maybe I can ask what is the correct um, ratio for uh, an extension ladder to be set up. Let's see if it answers. And there we go. So worst case scenario, you um, and you're stuck and you're not sure. Now, ideally, you're filling out on a computer, and I'm hoping as a safety professional you'd know this, but uh, you do have the option to ask AI a few questions as well. But anyway, you also will note that the report is saved anywhere you want. You can save your reports. Let's talk about pricing. And now, like anything else, people want to know how much software use, uh, use costs, etc. I've done some practice and I've played with these reports back and forth a few times. So I did start off with 700 credits and basically it's one credit for every video you upload. So if we look at it, let's look at monthly first because you might want to say, well, I'll just try it for a month. Well, it's 23 US dollars a month. If you choose to go annual, you get a 40% discount, $161 for the year. But either way, with Report Pro, you get unlimited projects. It doesn't matter how many you have. So if you have five construction sites that you're the safety person for, you can give each one of them as a project, and then you can attach your reports to each one of them. You have 300 credits per month that you get. That means 300 videos you upload. You can ask AI each time. You can also include vites, uh, uh, voice notes. You also have the option to top up credits. To top up your credits is $60, and uh, you get an additional 300 credits, and you can go all the way up to 50,000 credits if you want. I have 682 as basically, like I said, one credit per video. Your credits never uh, expire either. Now, I know you like to think, well, Kevin, what's... Uh, what else can you give us? Well, good question. So here's the deal for you that we've got. For the first 100 users, 100, you can enter in the coupon code Kevin25 and you get 25% off. Now, I'm sorry, after that, the coupon code only works for the first 100 users. However, if you're not in the first 100, that's okay. We've still got a deal for you. You can simply enter in the coupon code KEVIN and you can get 10% off for life. So once again, first 100 users, KEVIN25 gets you 25% discount off for the first six months. All of the rest of you users that didn't make it in the first 100, well, enter in the coupon code KEVIN, you get 10% off. Hey, if you want to know more about what Site Reports Builder can do by way of other safety activities such as inspections, better subscribe to the channel, channel and check back frequently because I'm going to be doing more video. The next one's going to be on site inspections. Okay, take care. Bye for now.